Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn just the two of us, you and I. All right, I'm going to play it for you first, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, finger position by finger position, with tabs right here on the screen. That was the cat dropping something. All right, so um, enjoy. It goes like this. Okay, so put on this chord. This is C major 7. It's 7, 8, 9 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Okay, you can remember this by asking yourself why is 6 afraid of 7. Okay, 7, 8, 9. And your thumb is on 8 on the bass. So you arpeggiate the chord. And then... Add 10 on the D string with your little finger, so it's right, it's this, and then you take this shape down here. Okay, so now it's five, seven, and eight. Okay, five, seven, and eight with seven on the bass with your thumb. This is now B7, right? So you do the same thing and you add nine on the D string. Okay, so it's... And then you have a D minor shape on three, which is E minor, because D minor, D sharp minor, E minor. Okay, so um, you arpeggiate it with the open sixth string. And then you have the open third string. Okay, no extra finger here. And then you have D minor 7, which is 1, 1, 2, and the open D string. You take this two frets up, and you can bar or you can use your thumb, okay, for G, because this is now G, okay? 3, 3, 4, 3 on the bass. So, okay, just change into a bar. Slide it two frets up and change it into a full bar instead of just on strings 1 and 2. And then... You have C major 7 again, this time open position, okay? So it's a C chord with the open second string. So that's it, just an arpeggio. Then you have B7. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so it's 202 on the third string. Open second string. And then you have E minor. You arpeggiate it with strings three and four. Okay, so it's. And then you have um, pretty much the same thing, but you don't play the D string. You play the first string again. So it's C major seven. Okay, that's, you have the same chord, okay? But then you have this. Okay, it's B sharp nine. It's a B chord with 10 on the first string. So you play what you played on the G chord, a bar on seven with eight on the third string, okay? And you add the little finger on 10 on the first. And then, okay, it's 10, 10. And then a D shape on seven with the sixth string, okay, open. So it's E minor seven, okay? It's a part of this chord. So it's, and then you have this, seven, seven, and then you have the D shape on five, okay? With the D string this time. So now it's D minor seven, okay? It's the same chord with a different bass note, okay? On seven, on five, on seven, it's E, okay? E minor seven, on five, it's D minor seven. So you play D. And then you have the stretchy G chord. Okay, it's seven on the first string with three on the bass. Now, if this is inconvenient for you, you can just play G over D. You can play strings one, two, three, and four. Okay, this is a G chord. Okay, you have D in it. It's perfectly fine. You don't have to play this. Okay, you don't have to play the G bass. Then you have C major seven once again. Okay, just open three strings and three on the fifth string. Um, and then you have the same B7 E minor line. Okay, so um, let's go over it one more time. All right, and again, these chords might take a little bit of time to get used to. Um, but they're great chords to know. So, okay, with your little finger, little finger, D minor on three, open third string, the D minor seven going up two frets to G, back up, and then 10 on the first string, D shape, down two frets, G, C major seven, the verse is uh, a lot easier than this, a lot easier. You start with C and it's just the third string. That's it. And then you have B5, just two and four on strings four and five. Okay, that's it. Just the two of them. <laughs> All right, so, okay, four, four on the fifth, zero, two on the third, uh, sorry, four, four on the fourth. I was thinking two on the fifth, four, four on the fourth, and I didn't say the two on the fifth. Zero, two on the third, and then E minor. Just the second string. Just the second string. This time the pun wasn't intended. Um, it's just the second string. And then the second string again, twice. And then it's D minor seven, but with the open E string, because that's the melody. So it's zero, one, two, zero. Okay, this is what you play. So it's and then you have three on the second string. Then you have G with the open second string. Two on the third. And then C with the open third. 
So get used to this. You have D minor, D minor seven, G, and then C. Okay, this is gonna repeat in a second. So. Then you have the open third string twice. And then you have this. Okay, it's B7 again. But this time you have two zero, two pull off to zero. Okay, and then you have two on the fourth, open E. And then you repeat everything. So it's C, B5, E minor. Okay, remember D minor seven G C. I play the bass notes after the the melody note that creates syncopation, and then you have okay the B seven to E uh, minor. Now you have the chorus, so it's okay. It's a slide from two to four on the third string, and then the open third string. And then you have C with um, two pull off to zero on the um, on the third string. Okay, with C. So it's it's the third string again. Now I play two on the fourth with it because we're still in C. And if I just do this, it's a little bit empty to me. So. By playing that E note, it continues the harmony. Okay? And then B7. And then 3-3 three, three on the second spring. And then you have this. Okay? It's, it's a chromatic move on the D string. So it's 3-0 on the second string with 2 on the fourth. And then with one on the fourth, and then you have that D minor seven with the open E string, zero one two zero, and then you have this. Okay, now if you notice, this is the repetition that I mentioned. This is D minor seven, G, and C. So you played the D minor seven, G, okay, with strings two and three. And then you have two pull off to zero zero on the third string with C again. Okay, um, B seven, and then you have just the two of us. Okay, so it's seven eight on strings one and two, and then you have the E bass with ten pull off to eight on the second string, nine on the third. Okay, just the two of us, right? So um, we're gonna repeat this. Now, okay, so C, B7, chromatic, G, okay, D minor 7, G. Okay, so after you repeat this, you arrive at B7, okay, and you don't play the high line, you play the ending, okay, so it's... B7, and then, okay, simple. Two pull off the zero on the third, and then two on the fourth, you're on E minor again, okay? So you play E. So the second time around, it's, and then you have the solo. Now, the solo looks hard, Okay, it looks hard, but it's actually really tricky, okay, in a good sense, because it's a trick. It's the same solo repeating three times, just two frets down every time, okay? So uh, if you're playing a wind instrument or if you're playing piano, you need to know the notes. If you're playing guitar, all you need to do is to play the same thing two frets down. So what you have on is that C major seven chord from the beginning. Okay, so that's the chord you have. Okay, remember your thumb is on eight, so it's okay. You have seven on the first string, ten eight on the second, nine on the third. 
Okay, so it's... And then your thumb is on seven on the bass, and you play seven, ten, seven, springs one, two, one. That's it. So the bass changes from C to B. So C major seven, and then the B bass. And then you do exactly the same thing, exactly the same thing, two frets down. And then exactly the same thing, two frets down. And then you have six on the second string. And then you have C major seven here, open strings. Three, and then this beautiful chord. Okay? It's, um, it's F13. Bar on eight, ten on the first string, and you play strings one, two, three, and five on 10, eight, eight, eight. So this is the solo. You didn't expect it to go by so quickly and to be this easy to memorize, right? Again. Again. C major seven. Yeah, you just play it twice and then you can play the chorus again and just have fun with this. So download the tab. The tab is for free. The link is below in the description. And while you're there, check out the sale. My courses are on sale right now. So check it out. Scroll down after you download the tab and choose the course that's right for you. Whether you're a beginner, an intermediate player, an advanced player looking for new thrills in life. Uh, check out the Break Your Boundaries program that contains all my courses, okay? all my courses, all 25 plus courses, over 100 hours of premium, world-class, uh, top shelf, high quality, in-depth guitar material. Um, I don't have to tell you that. You know me, you know Lick and Riff. So just check it out and start creating your own guitar breakthroughs on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, so... <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna have a glass of water now. Um, so, speaking out these numbers um, can make a man hoarse, of course. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna give the dog a treat now and drink a glass of water. I'm gonna let you go. Uh, <laughs> just the two of us, have fun. I'll see you in the next lesson, bye for now, enjoy.